Uh, hello, my, my name is John Elaine, and I am the choreographer of the Ballet of the Fairy Queen. Uh, uh, the ballet is based on Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream, <coughs> but uh, the, the organization or the company that I created it for was a uh, small sort of a chamber company of, of uh, at that time, 14 dances. So I had to change uh, the whole sort of a lot of the art, I, I had to change part of the narrative. I had to eliminate characters, and I think the most uh, defining and important change that happened was I took the character of Puck, I, I gave it to a woman, and I gave it to a very statuesque woman. So that completely shifted the dynamics of the of the narrative. And the other wonderful thing is uh, I used the music from the opera, The Fairy Queen by Henry Purcell. The Purcell, I would, the man, uh, there is a, I want to say, to put it simply, it, there are tunes. There are very, very beautiful tunes. So the, 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 the experience of listening to that opera is, is sort of immense joy and I, I thought and I thought also because the music was composed for a narrative it being an opera it would it would lend itself to dance to it is not a tragedy there there we are uh, the wonderful thing about the story it, it lends itself to uh, humor so uh, when I look at the work, and especially 15 years out from the creation, I, I, I think back to the people that I worked with, and I, I realized that uh, it was so easy to fill the piece with humor because, for, for example, the three sort of um, lead male characters, they, they were forever, I mean, they were very humorous, very uh, witty gentlemen, and their personalities and their... Uh, uh, approach to life sort of inform the characters so uh, not only is the nature of the story a comedy but uh, the nature of the characters that we're creating were uh, incredibly witty <clears throat> I, 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 I think what I keep on saying it's it's a piece that was done 15 years ago and it's being remounted on a completely different group of dancers so what is really exciting is as the piece is being formed you realize how much is similar and how much is different so like dance being you know of the moment and being such a, an ephemeral experience for an audience I, I think what I'm seeing develop is a very fresh new and exciting piece that is very different from the past experience. So it's like a new ballet all over again.